are more insidious than you could possibly imagine. And it has nothing to do with vegan or carnivore. Oh, yesterday I saw this picture right here on the internet, the lovely internet. And actually I was disgusted. And I think if you look at it, you're also disgusted because there are very evil people out there that want to manipulate and make you feel bad about the food that you're eating. And I really don't think that that is okay. Um, I think it's a terrible thing. People should not be manipulated and made to feel bad about how they eat. You can still love your animals and treat them well, and you can still eat animals. I mean, unfortunately, that's what we've been doing for thousands of years. Only in the last, I don't know, this whole vegan push, when did it start like 10 years ago? And, and it, what it is, is it's kind of evil. So first of all, I'm gonna say, I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I hate that group of people. They're so disgusting. And the truth of the matter is, that's exactly what a post like that wants you to do. It wants you to get mad. But I think that if you're a vegan person and you see that post, you get mad also. You get mad at the people that eat meat and say, yeah, those people are horrible. They're so immoral. They're so irresponsible, whatever. And I think on both sides of the coin, this sort of image incites anger. And I think it's done on purpose. It is done on purpose because naturally, human beings don't dislike each other. Naturally, we love each other. But this type of photo right here is meant to instigate and foment hatred. And I don't think that's okay. That's really bad, actually. That's quite evil. <sighs> I can go on. So when I saw this, I was very angry and um, I did something I never, don't try to do on the internet. And I commented actually, and this is what I said. I said, uh, I know not many people will like this. Uh, and I promised myself I will never get into it on the internet, but this is vegan propaganda at its worst. Meant to manipulate you and make you feel terrible about eating food that is meant to nourish the body. It's truly disgusting the lengths people will go. So you ruin your body in the sake of false moral high ground, in the sake of a false moral high ground. Um, Okay, so I commented that, and then I was going to go on a whole ranty uh, short. And then I said, okay, Alia, chill out, sleep on it, and then figure out how you feel in the morning. Okay, so then the night came. I slept. I wasn't as angry. Um, actually, I wasn't angry at all. And then I realized this is far more insidious than you could possibly imagine. And it has nothing to do with vegan or carnivore or if you're a meat eater or if you're a plant eater. It has to do with somebody created this post with the purpose of making two different groups of people dislike each other. And that's what's terrible. Why do we have to dislike each other if I eat animals and you eat plants? I think most vegans are probably there not to make meat eaters feel bad, but they're there because they're honestly trying to fix something in their body. And most people that are carnivores are not there to make the vegans feel bad. They're there because they're trying to fix something in our body. So if we could literally like learn a little bit of empathy and try to understand the other person's viewpoint, maybe we can come to an understanding in the middle. But there are evil people out there that don't want us to do that. What, I don't know who those people are. I'm just saying, just think about it. Why would somebody post something like this? This was actually posted by somebody who's pro carnivore. So that person is also forwarding and instigating this hatred. So I'm not gonna follow the guy anymore um, because it's unnecessary. We don't need to get angry by stuff like this. And the, I don't know, we, if you look at this, like how do you know that a vegan made this? It, it you can, you can feel like a vegan made it because you look at it and it it's clearly that, but maybe it was just a crazy person that eats meat that wants you to hate vegans. Or maybe it's a crazy person that doesn't eat meat and wants you to hate people that eat meat. But either way, it's not sane. And that's the truth of the matter. So if you are a vegan, um, great. If you are a carnivore, great. If you eat salad and uh, eggs, great. The Honestly, the true, problem with food is not it plants i mean people will disagree with me on that it's not meat it's a standard american diet which is if you are a carnivore who follows my channel have you ever actually spoken to a vegan because i'm vegans and every single one of them is a decent individual and has not tried to push such as this evil photo here that ideology in that way um and most of those people wanted to tell me the benefits of it and i and i sat down and listened and nobody was evil and nobody was bad they're all good decent individuals trying to improve their health and they think that that's going to help somebody else and so that's why they're telling you okay carnivore people uh vegan people have you ever met a meat eater that you like 
okay because we're human and neatly we want to love each other and help each other and we this is like part of being a human being but what this communication does it tries to put like a it tries to put like a wedge between groups of people literally uh carnivore vegan left right uh black white chinese mexican uh let's just like i don't believe that those people or those groups or those races would actually dislike each other but someone made them dislike each other again not natural to humans to hate each other it's natural to love each other and to feel affinity for one another so i'm glad i didn't go on a rant last night for 10 minutes about how much i dislike vegans but that communication this piece of art created that response in me so i've decided that i am not going to be connected on my social media to anybody that posts stuff like that because i don't need the extra stress in my life and i don't need that feeling of uh, created by i don't know who you know they got their product they made me angry um but i don't need that and you don't need that and we have to realize we don't know the sources of these things and we don't know the true intent behind them but after i slept it off and uh, looked at it again, I realized this is done by somebody that's evil that doesn't want people to like each other and wants people to hate each other. And you gotta think, why is that? What is the purpose of that? And maybe it was made by a vegan who feels that way. And I'm sorry if that's that person. Uh, maybe it was by, made by a meat eater to foment uh, disagreement between two different minded groups of people. And if that's you, I'm so sorry. Um, either way, it's disgusting and I understand. <sighs> Either way, it's disgusting. And what we should do is learn again to love one another, communicate with other people, look them in the eyes, uh, and try to understand why somebody's doing something that they do. Why they're trying to, how they feel what they're doing is helpful. Um, and you don't have to listen to it if it's a bunch of crap. Meaning, if they're trying to specifically manipulate you and make you feel bad. In any way, like, vegan side carnivore side keto side look there's like very strict carnivore people who will say bad stuff to people just trying to eat this way successfully uh they're out there it's the internet we just have to learn like okay that's that type of person and most of us the general population of the human species are good people and want to help one another and live their best life that they can and so that's my rant actually like don't fall for the bs and don't get into this sort of crap right here where it's going to try to push a message on you and make you feel a certain way for a very specific reason and i don't think it's actually about whether or not you eat animals i think it's actually about whether or not uh we are not supposed to be friends do you get what i'm saying like if you hate a group you don't want to communicate to that group it creates problems we don't need that we should be able to all get along no matter what we eat. And nobody has any right to make somebody wrong about how they eat as an adult human being, even if they're eating the standard American diet. All we can do is try to help one another. All right, end of rant.